Hey, Shamar's kind of fast now. Y'all don't want the smoke. Daddy missed you. Well, there we go. Something's died. We kind of realized that we've got a pretty serious problem with the 350,000 mile engine that's in the single cab right now. I'm kind of upset because I've been trying to film the single cab. I've been trying to work on the single cab all weekend and it's been, now it's like flurry. It's like snowing right now and I'm a little upset because I've been trying to work on this damn truck like all weekend and it just, so. That's why, you know, I've been skipping days while I'm filming because it's shit to do when it's 36 degrees outside and it's raining, so fucking sucks. But my goal today is to work on the single cab. When I get off work today at 4 or 4.30, we're, we're gonna try and uh, hopefully it at least stops raining and it's not wet outside. So then we can go outside and work on the single cab. That's the goal, but I guess we'll see how that goes. Man, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to race motherfuckers, man. I'm fast now. Shamar thinks he's fast now because he put a new stall converter in his truck. Yes, it is a bad bitch. It's, is it louder? It stays loud, no, no matter what. It's really? never quiet anymore. It's not stalling out and stuff anymore. Nope. Hey, hey Shamar's kind of fast now. Y'all don't want the smoke. Y'all don't want the smoke. Y'all don't want the smoke. Hey, it's cold as hell. It's windy as hell. Might get a cold start but, in, though. But we're working on the single cab today. So here's my goal for the week. My goal. So we're gonna get the we're gonna get the exhaust put back on. We're gonna we're gonna get a dual axle dump installed. Throw the bed back on. Tag it. Insure it. Yes. Drive the little drive the little motherfucker. That's my goal. Not all today, but by the end of the week, that's the goal. So fenders off. Oh baby, I missed you. I forgot we put we put the drop shackles on too. I forgot about that. Right here. Can I do a what? No, I didn't say can you. I said have you been doing? Can I? I'm sure, I don't know if it'll do I a burnout. Have you, not can you. I just tried to unlock it with my key fob. You got the wrong key? No, I got the key on here, but I just tried to unlock it with my other key fob. I'm a freaking idiot. Look at my little baby sitting out here. Oh man, what's up baby? Daddy missed you. Oh, this, co this cold start's about to be something else. Throw those in the cup holder. This cold start's about to be something else. Woo! Hey, it, hey, it cranks every time. Every time, baby. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, hell yeah. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but we're gonna pull it in the shop and uh, I gotta grab some pieces out of the back of the silver truck. We gotta put the wide pipe back on with the catalytic converters and a couple other little small things today. That's the goal, so I'll see you guys when we get in the shop. It's too cold to work outside today. able to drive this thing I haven't honestly I haven't driven this thing in like a week I haven't even cranked this thing up in about a week let alone driven it but I'm excited to get the exhaust back on get the bed back on so we can see how the uh, how the drop shackles made it look and uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to be able to just actually drive this thing again I haven't done any any burnouts or donuts or anything in a couple weeks so I'm kind of excited to be back in this thing and uh, we'll start driving it on a day-to-day -day basis here in the next week or so so that's that's the main goal of this week is look you can see my breath inside the truck that's how cold it is it's like 39 degrees outside right now the main goal this week with this truck is to get it back driving or roadworthy so that we can actually start driving it every day and once we can start doing that that's where the build will really start we can really start to figure out what we need to fix what we need to change and then really start diving into you know fixing changing out the front end you know maybe some wheels and tires you know different things like that so i'm uh, i'm pretty excited Was it loud? Really? Well, it's gonna get loud again. I need. All right, all right.
I completely forgot to film most of this, but we dropped down the rear cross member, got the Y, the Y pipe, the cats back up here. Now all we gotta do, I've got all the bolts in right now, so literally all we gotta do is bolt these back in and then uh, bolt in our piece down there and we're good to go. I, um, we had to re-rack the truck, so we put it up and down a couple times and then uh, I just completely forgot to hit record while we were putting everything up, but uh, it's kinda where we're at right now. All right, we got everything bolted back in up front. Uh, we're gonna put this uh, extra piece that went to the muffler back in just so it's not droning right under the cap. And we're actually gonna weld a new dual axle dump. Yeah, dual axle dump, that's gonna be sweet. To the, to the end of this. So we're gonna go ahead and put this piece back in and get it back to where it was. I still gotta plug in all the stupid, uh, stupid sensors and shit. But um, other than that, we're about good. Very good. Get those tightened back in. Throw our bolts back on the uh, cross member and the trans. Call it a night. I do gotta go to the tent shop tonight. So, it should be a pretty solid day. Now we got some exhaust back on this thing. Now we got some back pressure again. Now, now we can do some dumb shit again. I'm super excited, super excited. And you know we can't end the video off without doing exactly that. As I pull off in the single cab to go whip a nice little fat donut, the low coolant light comes on. So, I, just to be safe, I decided not to send the shit out of it tonight. But we're gonna check the coolant in the morning and make sure I didn't completely destroy the whole thing. But uh, we just pulled up to the tent shop. Wheel lights on. Zach and uh, Jamar just pulled up. Jamar? Yeah, Jamar. And uh, Sean's got Sean. Sean's here too. Alex is here. Pulled up to the tent shop tonight and Zach's just over here casually welding shit. Can I try? I've never welded anything before. Can I try? Yeah. I don't know how to do this, like, um, at all. I'm just trying to get it set up and get, like, the right wire speed and everything going. When you get it set up, I'm, I'm gonna throw some, throw some, uh, throw some metal down. <laughs> Are we welding tonight? I'm kind of scared, low-key. So when y'all see Shamar weld stuff on the channel, this is the same exact setup that Shamar uses. So if we learn how to weld, Alex is dangerous. If I learn how to weld, that's bad. Like that's, that's dangerous. Can you, guys, can you guys even imagine what kind of shit I could get into if I knew how to weld? I'm, like, I'm getting there. I wanna that that could be I really bad. Three. We're gonna try it tonight though. We're gonna try it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it one good solid try. Cause I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm curious. Literally picking up my camera from the night before because I left it up here like an idiot. We absolutely had planned a weld and all kinds of fun stuff like like that, and I just leave my shit at the shop all the time. You know, <laughs> it's just fucking terrible. But uh, it's so weird to be up at the shop like in the middle of the day. It's fucking weird. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Look at that big Wayne gang. Big, big thing gang. Get, get on Wayne gang. We'll take a picture. <laughs> Yeah, we got the, the bed off. So I have a small confession to make. I went to go do a burnout late last night when we had finally put the exhaust back on. And I uh, very kindly forgot to take it out of first gear. So may have completely destroyed this thing last night, which is why our low coolant light is on now. But uh, me and Nick that you guys saw in the other video a couple days ago, actually at the beginning, no, it was the last video. We're gonna check the coolant, make sure that there's any coolant in it at all, and go from there. There is. there is not. There is zero coolant in there. 
You think it's leaking out somewhere? Or you think there's just no I, it went in somewhere. It? Maybe it's in the engine. Pull that dipstick and you find out real quick. That'd be nice. What you think? What you think? I mean, it looks dark. That's a good thing. Tastes like coolant. I don't fucking know. That should be enough to get you in the shop. Oh yeah, I can see it dripping right there. Well, there we go. Something's died. I don't know what it is. It's not good. It's dripping out the front and back. It might be something under... Um, I don't know, pull it in the shop and we'll find out. I don't want to dump coolant everywhere though. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> it's dripping all off the bottom of the oil pan. But I guess that doesn't mean it's coming from the oil pan. It's just something above it. Yeah, it's probably something up here. I can see coolant right here. I don't know where that came from. Well. That's not good. Ew. What? What the hell? What you see? It's like under, I'm pretty sure that's coolant right there. Coming out of the oil filter or is it coming out? Oh yeah, look. Well, I don't know what it's coming out of, but I can see it there. Well, the point of today's video was gonna be whether we decide to lift the single cab or not, because I've really been get, just getting that that vibe that just energy that I wanted to lift the hell out of this thing but you know we kind of realized that we've got a pretty serious problem with the uh, <laughs> I almost ha I kind of have to laugh while I say this the 350,000 mile engine that's in the single cab right now has a pretty serious coolant leak water pump oil I don't know it's something but pray for me that's all I can say because I was getting really excited about this thing and now it seems like it's just turning into it turn into a shit show so make sure to like and subscribe watch all the ads so i can pay to fix all this shit but uh i'll see you guys tomorrow hey new podcast getting filmed tonight make sure you guys show some love on the instagram thank you guys for 100 followers on that page at lifted in the a podcast on instagram hit the like and subscribe button i'll see you guys next time let's get this bread